Now, if you are an Android TV user who uses streaming applications like this, probably the biggest issue you have is just the sheer volume of adverts in these applications. Adverts when you are browsing for content, adverts when your content starts playing, adverts when your content finishes, really just adverts everywhere, grinding your device or slowing your device down. So what can you do? Now imagine there was an application out there which would automatically block all of the adverts across all of your applications. The application would work automatically with just one click and the application would not interfere with your VPN, giving you maximum security, maximum privacy, and of course, total ad blocking. Well, allow me to introduce or present the all new TDUK DNS switcher, which is now fully published on the Google Play Store, available for all of your Android TV devices. Let's open that up. And just like my other applications, they're always designed with maximum simplicity, a couple of clicks, and you can go ahead and carry on enjoying your streaming device. So before we understand what a DNS switcher is, let me give you a 20 second summary of exactly what DNS is. So the job of DNS is to translate the friendly names that we type into the browser into IP addresses that it can understand and communicate with. So right now, if I open up the browser and type in netflix.com, the first thing the browser will do is to see, do I know the IP address of netflix.com? And if it knows the IP address, it will then make a connection to the IP address and away you go. Now, if it's the case where it doesn't know what the IP address is, this is where your browser will say, hey, DNS server that I'm configured to use, what is the IP address of netflix.com? So my device will make a connection to my DNS server, which is typically your ISP's DNS server, and ask what is the IP address of netflix.com? Once it gets the answer, it will return the IP address and my device can then make a connection to netflix.com. And that's essentially how DNS works. So now that we understand DNS, really what's the main issue with that? The main issue with DNS is the fact that your queries and the responses are sent and received in plain text or clear text. And as the name implies, plain text means that anybody, governments, ISPs, hackers, all of these entities can snoop in and find out exactly where you're trying to connect to. And this really is the main issue with unencrypted DNS queries. And this little picture here just shows that a hacker could see that you're trying to connect to cloudfair.com because your DNS traffic is unencrypted. So with that, we can see the massive benefit for your privacy, for your security of using encrypted DNS servers. It really is the best way to protect your privacy online. And this is exactly where the TDUK DNS switcher comes in because my application will force your device, your streaming device, to now start using encrypted DNS servers. So without you typing in any manual commands or messing about with system settings, you can literally just do one click and you are now using encrypted DNS which then gives you that massive benefit of no adverts, zero adverts across all of your favorite third-party streaming applications. So now before I demonstrate the application, let's do a quick real life test of a popular streaming application. Okay, I'm now searching. So probably the first thing I notice when I'm searching for something is we see this pop-up ad at the bottom. We can leave that there. Let's now actually click on something and click on play. We'll give that a second and that should then start streaming that movie which is fine. And normally when you're watching the movie, you probably watch it to the end or you forward it a bit. But what normally happens is when you try to back out of the movie, you can see here, I'm gonna press back, back on the remote, uh, click on okay. And what do I see? I see a full screen advert on the screen. And these are normally video based adverts. They're normally noisy, um, lots of moving stuff. And it just definitely slows things down. You normally have to wait for at least 30 seconds before you can turn this off. Let's try another popular streaming application. I can choose some content to play. Click on that. This one doesn't have any adverts when you are searching for content. It does allow you to start something. As you can see, that started okay. But once again, watch what happens when I press the back button. So do you want to exit? Let's click on exit. And again, we see a large video based advert directly when I try to back out. And this one, you can't forward, you can't do anything. You have to basically stay looking at that for 30 seconds. Let me now press the home button. Now, before I start the TDUK DNS switcher, we have to enable USB debugging, which is inside your developer option. So I'm doing my demonstration on the on 4K Pro. 
So I can go to the settings at the top, click on that. I can scroll down to where it says system. Let's go to that. I can go to about and where you see the build, you want to press the select button there seven times. So let's do that now. We can see on my device, it tells me that you're already a developer because I've already done this. Do this on your device and you'll see a countdown saying you are seven steps, six steps, five steps away from being a developer. And eventually you'll get the message saying you are now a developer. Once you see that message, you can then press back and inside system now you'll see the developer options. Let's click on that. And you now want to turn on this USB debugging. By default, it's normally set to off. We want to turn this on. So let's allow USB debugging, click on OK. Now, if you have NVIDIA Shield Pro, the option you want to turn on inside your developer options is called network debugging. Whereas on this device and all other certified devices, the more common option you'll see is a USB debugging. So we've now turned that on, which means I can back out of this, back again. Let's now start the TDUK DNS switcher for the first time. Let's click on that. You can see the first option is connect this device with ADB. Let's select that. That's now connected. You may see a prompt asking you, do you want to allow this application to make an ADB connection? Click on always allow and click on yes, and you'll then be connected. I can now click on select DNS server. Let's click on that. And here we can see some popular DNS servers. So this one we have from Cloudflare. You have one from Control ID, another one from Quad9. But for maximum ad blocking, I found this one to be the best. But you also have the option of adding in a manual server. So if there's any other DNS service that supports DNS over TLS or HTTPS, you can also add that in here. Another one I use personally in my house is NextDNS. So if I want to use that, I would enter the DNS manually. But in this example, let's go for AdGuard. That's now selected. I can click on OK. I can now click on Start Using Encrypted DNS Server. So let's press the Select button. And it's as easy as that, guys. So one click. And from this point forward, all connections from my device, all applications are now using encrypted DNS. We can also verify that. Let's click on Test DNS. This should now open up a browser on your device and then confirm exactly which DNS servers you are using. And we can see now I'm using the AdGuard DNS. Now at the top there, you will see my current IP address because I'm not using a VPN, but I will demonstrate that you can connect to a VPN, but it won't take off those AdGuard servers. So even with the VPN connected, I'll still get maximum ad blocking. Okay, let's back out of that. Once you've finished making the connection, I can now click on exit. So my application does not need to keep on running like Blockada or AdGuard. Once you've set the private DNS server, I can click on exit and my device is now using those DNS servers. So let's now go back to that streaming application, the first one we tried. Let's click on play. Now we can see once it's building the links, when I scroll down, we don't see that pop-up ad at the bottom. Give that a second just to make sure that doesn't turn up, but you know, I've tested this multiple times in all applications, all third-party streaming applications, especially the list I mentioned at the beginning of this video, all those applications, they saw zero adverts. You can see here, guys, no adverts here. I can now start one of these. We can see it's done that. But the key thing is when you back out the movie or the TV show, that's where it normally shows you the advert. Let's give it another 10 seconds just to make sure it's an accurate test. That's all working fine. I'm now going to press the back button, click on OK, and are we going to see an advert? No, we're not. Because those encrypted DNS servers are specifically designed to block any advert domain, any domains that normally serve adverts. All those requests are now being blocked by those encrypted ad guard servers. Let's just try one more just to make sure. In fact, let's try the other application. OK, the links are OK on this one. This one didn't have a pop up anyway, but it's normally when you start the movie, and try to back out, that's when you see something. So links are populating fine, no stress there. Let's start one of these, that's working great. And now the moment of truth, if I try to back out, click on exit, and do we see an advert? No, we don't. So again, those adverts are now completely blocked from my device. And a final test to confirm that my application will not interfere with your VPN, you can use both at the same time, I can start IP vanish. I can click on connect. We can see my VPN is now connected. I can back out of this. I can open up my app. I can click on test. And we can see my IP address at the top is provided from IP vanish. So I'm using a full VPN, but more importantly, I'm still using those encrypted ad guard DNS servers. So 
really gives me the best of both worlds where I can use a VPN, but at the same time have full privacy of my DNS requests, really giving me maximum security, maximum privacy with the added benefit of complete and total ad blocking across my entire device. So, so how do you get this application and how much does it cost? Well, right now the application is available directly on the Google Play Store on all Android TV devices, certified Android TV devices. If you just head over to the search, you can just type in TD UK. That should be sufficient. And the application you are looking for is the third one here. So this is the third application I've published on the Google Play Store. Obviously, we know some of the challenges of trying to publish anything on the Amazon App Store, you know, since they blocked ADB. So it looks like for all further development, I'm only going to focus on Android TV devices. This is the application here. And just like my other applications, it costs $1.99. It's a lifetime license and it covers unlimited devices. So doesn't matter if you have three Android TV devices in your house or 30 Android TV devices, a single 199 license will cover all of them for life. All future updates, when I add in more DNS servers, when I add in more features, all of those future updates you'll get absolutely free once you purchase the initial 199 license. Um, I would also potentially explore releasing a free version, which could be ad supported for the people that don't want to buy this app or they think that 199 is too much. If there's enough demand, I would potentially create that application as well. I mean, this one took me, I think since January to code it. I mean, lots of Googling, lots of trial and error, but I really am happy I've managed to publish my third application on the Google Play Store. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this new application. Really appreciate your support and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.